What is going on guys? This is Pablo back here with another video and today we're gonna be changing my my brakes from the rear, the, the drum brakes because they're bad. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. I'm gonna head to O'Reilly's right now or AutoZone. Either one of those two because I need some new um shit I'm not trying to crash. But yeah, as I was saying, we're heading to O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Either one of those two, or both of them, to check who has some lug nuts. Because mine are worn out. Yes, it's están variando, so we gotta trade them. You feel me? Hay que poner el cinturón porque si no nos pare la chota como la otra vez, eh? Yeah, but as I was saying, we're heading to AutoZone right now. And if they don't have the lug nuts, we'll check O'Reilly's, but hopefully they do have them because I need some ASAP. But yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm there. So we just left Auto Zone. We got our lug nuts. Here they are. Oh, I'm driving. I'm not trying to crash either, you know. But yeah, we got our lug nuts. They come in a pack of four, which is weird because I needed like six, but I already have like two good ones. So I guess I'll be riding with five, which isn't bad because a lot of people do it. So and I also got the brake cleaner, and that's all we needed to finish up. The left side, and I'm gonna show you guys just one side because what's the whole point if it's the same exact thing on the right side? So I'll show you guys how it's done, and from there, hope you guys enjoy this this content on my truck. Show you guys what I'm doing to it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video of the lower balance. But yeah, I have more car and con the blood, the blood. Zapatero, ¿qué opina usted del gobierno de Zapatero? The blood. I have more content coming soon for the truck, so stay tuned. So we're gonna take out the drum and the drum brakes. Here in those two holes, you're supposed to put two bolts. But if you don't have two bolts, you can use a screwdriver and a hammer to take out the drum disc. And after that, we're gonna take off the screen right there. I don't know if you can see, it's too dark. This one right here, you're gonna take off. And then you're gonna take off this latch too.
tiene que hacer eso para que salga esto así Then with the hook, you're gonna take off these things right there to take off the brakes, the brake shoes. And just like that, it's so out. Those are really worn out. Now to the difficult part. And now with the screwdriver, there's like a little bullet. You like extend it, pull it, and then you push it down. And that's like probably the hardest part right there. Just like that comes out. There's this old, there's the old brake. Now with the new ones. But before we do that, we gotta clean this off with some brake cleaner. Clean all that debris with some brake cleaner. And the grease. We gotta go in there really good and deep. And then where the brakes go, you're gonna have to clean them real good with the with either sandpaper or with the wire brush. And there's like three of them on each side. And after sanding, you guys have to put some some grease. That way the brakes can go in smooth. And then after that, if you guys see this wire right here, the brake line, what you're gonna wanna do is go on the left side of the truck and disconnect this. That way it's easier to put on. Trust me guys, it's way easier. The top one is for the right side of the brakes and the left ones for the left. The bottom ones for the left, I mean. So you just take this off. Like so. Just like that, that easy. And you can extend it. And there you can just grab it and extend it. But it's a little hard. But slowly it's extending as you can see. Trust me, that will help you a lot whenever you have to put the new ones back in. And then you just pretty much put, put that bolt back in there. And you have to press that little latch right there down. Let's see if you guys can see. There's a little latch right here. You just press it down and then the bolt should be able to come in. That's how it's supposed to look once it's all done. Then after that, you go back where you disconnected the line, you connect them back once everything's done. And right now, as you're seeing, we took off the, we're flushing the air out. No, no light, para que las brecas se metan más para adentro porque son nuevas brecas. Right now, we're, we did that because- the New brakes. Since it's new brakes, like it has to go back to its original spot because it has already worn out and that's why we took off some of the air and the oil out that's all and that's it and basically that was for this so these can get like more in there Okay. Tiene que 
guess that is that the nose can that like a and then those you gotta put back in there so right now we're just where you did the left side now we're gonna do the right this car it's really hard as you can see and you're gonna have to require a lot of strength the got a man that has a lot of strength and now you gotta make sure that both the line in the top and bottom as you can see the right side is the line too on the top and then in the bottom as you can see right there it's a line too with these two those bottoms are aligned the tops are aligned and we're good to go and now we just just put back together what we had taken off you know we gotta clean all the we gotta clean this and these two clean them with some brake cleaner and then after that we're gonna have to add some grease we're gonna clean them i mean check out the debris grease you know that one right there that's in his hand you're gonna add some grease into that too. Just like that. That one has needs to have grease. And you put it back together. And then And then that one you have to put it all the way back in there because I put new brakes. You just pretty much have to cut it. That's it. Just like that, and then you turn this more till the gap, till the gap closes. Oh. And it's supposed to feel like that, nice and fit, where it's not really loose. And then from there, you're gonna add these two parts. It's just a puzzle. In the spring, this one goes this way, and then the long goes to the latch. You put on the second hole, not the first one, and you just grab some pliers and you extend it. And it's just like that. And once you're putting all that, you just put your your drum disc or whatever it's called back in there and yeah after that you should be set make sure it's all snug and fit then you just put your wheel back in there <laughs> 